All right, the dozen match 75. 75 of these. Holy shit. Uh, sponsored by CBD MD. We have one of the better teams we've seen in here. Overall Thank combined Thank you. record two and two, Good but to I think back. together they're two and one. We have Vibs, Large, and J Brandon just refuses to ever let me get an intro off smoothly. Uh, two and one together, but as a team for the record, they're number six. They're two and two. Brandon and PFT still rank number eight, and let's get right into it. We have not been on since uh, hand sign gate. A couple things off the top. Brandon Walker was caught after the fact trying to do hand signs to show that it was Vernon Wells for an answer. Nobody saw it. Nobody answered. Uh, I've listened to his explanation. He has admitted, yes, he was doing hand signs. He thought it was a funny gag or gesture. Well, um, obviously yeah. it was visible. He knew what he was doing. It's a bad First bit. of all. Brandon, are you okay? I, I understood that you had some arthritis that was yes. affecting your joints. I think that's more appropriate to check in on his wellness, Jeff, as opposed to treat him like your your little circus freak. Yeah, it's just here to make you money. For the boy who cried wolf, uh, sometimes there's a wolf, though. I know there's a wolf sometimes. No, no, shit, there's a wolf. Sometimes, not every time you cry wolf. Unfortunately, we ha he has to be penalized for it. So Brandon will be muted. He will be muted. This is, this is like a penalty in college sports. He'll be muted for the first question of tonight's match. Okay. Can I talk first? Okay. I should be able to make a statement on my own behalf. That's fair. You I know what fair. you were doing. If you say arthritis, you're muted for two questions. So go You mean ahead. an apology? You I, should, I, you, I have the floor now. I owe, I owe no one apology. However, you're subject to a worse penalty if you make a mockery of this. So go ahead. What I did the other day was I don't think it was should be regarded as cheating. Why? Because Jeff said, hey, when you're muted, don't do any hand signs. So what did I do? I immediately did a hand sign. I went over and above. I thought, oh, this would be funny. I'll just I'll just flaunt the cheating. I'll just go right. And nobody saw it. So, okay, if, if I'm guilty of anything, it's going too far for a joke. I apologize. Because yeah. yeah. you, could, you could have done hand signs that weren't the answer to the question, too. There, That is – What uh, good that, require, that requires a lot of brain work on Brandon's part. Now, Jeff, is Brandon allowed to do hand signs while he's muted this time? No. Now, for now on, the mute, you can mouth the answer. That's where we're landing with the mute okay. is the ever-changing rule. We don't, we don't know how it's going to go. We don't love it yet. You can mouth, no hand signs, no writing down the answers. Yes, Brandon. So I have been on for 60-something matches. You would agree? Yes. <laughs> for the first time in 60 matches, I have been uh, alleged to have cheated of, in some form or fashion. Fine. I will take the punishment of one mute. However, people like cons can just cheat without There's regard. There's more news. You want me to continue? Okay. Yes. Pending a review. Captain Khans, the next time he is on, will have anywhere between six questions and a full game mute if he wants to return. I personally don't think he cheated as much as people think he did. I think there's one question that's very bad now that I look back on it. No kidding. I, okay, so Khans will have to endure at least six questions. Might be more. I got to talk to him. Okay, so I am muted for the first question. Khans like, will be like muted the next time he plays. For at least six questions, could be the full game. I like Lord John. They're just casually playing with a knife. White Sox Dave like, already took a penalty in sanctions, you. and Frank the Tank didn't cheat. And anyone who wants to tell me he cheated is wrong. Sorry, Frank the Tank never cheated. He did. So that's how the penalties go. All right. Yeah, well, that's nice, Large. What is, is that? Your Large is feeling yeah. better. Large, welcome back. Ulu, it's a it's an Alaskan knife. It's a oh, Ulu. Oh, now that that's out of the way. CBDMD sponsoring today's match. They need CBDMD wants everyone to relax. I think that's what we got to do right now. We take we got to take a big deep breath. And with CBDMD, you can do that. You can do that even afterwards too with new CBD bath salts from CBDMD. To use superior CBD with a mixture of Epsom, Dead Sea, and Himalayan salts to turn any bathtub into a luxury spa experience. Choose from lavender, or eucalyptus scents, or a soothing nighttime blend with melatonin and calming herbs. Also, CBDPM. Blends 500 milligrams of high-quality CBD with melatonin, valerian root, chamomile, and other sleep-promoting ingredients to create a powerful sleep aid. That's right. And you get 25% off right now. Your next order, cbdmd.com, promo code DOZEN for 25% off your order. They have many more products than just that as well, but those are the ones we're talking about this week. 
All right. Uh, match later on the week, uh, we have Glenny Ball, Smitty, and Tommy Smokes against ZD, Clem, Rico, and Eddie. But this is this match today, a top 10 match, fantastic teams. Let's get into it. First category, Brandon Walker is muted. He is hey, Brandon, muted. You can mouth it. You can mouth it. Okay. Uh, you guys go ahead with the first question. I'm just going to read. You guys have fun. Brandon, do you know Morse code? First category you know, you know is your tongue. the NBA. 30 seconds around the clock starting now for PFT. Name the last Eastern Conference team to make the finals with a shade of blue in their primary logo. Okay, so I can definitely say the Magic is one of them. Uh, Brandon, you can say yes or no, but it's not them. Uh, so that we have the Celtics to go through. We have the Raptors. Do the Raptors don't have a shade of blue. Um, Ten seconds. Brandon, you can mouth something. The what? The you what? answer PFT in five. Four, three, two, PFT. The Cavaliers. One. The Cavaliers. Dark blue. That is correct. They have a shade of blue. Yep. Brandon, Damn. you remain muted for this question. Just Brandon was no help on that one. Brandon. That's your penalty. Brandon, you could have gone. You could have made it way more obvious, Brandon. Okay, I accept your apology. You're not that dumb, Brandon. Don't say that about yourself. Other side. I think your goatee looks great. <laughs> no, Brandon, Mississippi State is better than Ole Miss. You're wrong. One to nothing. <laughs> Other side, here is your question. 30 seconds. Name the last Western Conference team to make the finals with a shade of orange in their primary logo. I believe it's the Thunder in 2012, but let's think through it, guys. Uh, oh. I mean, the Heat – or no, okay. Western. No, yeah, relax, yeah. relax. Yeah, Jake. yeah, yeah. 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 13 and 14 with Spurs, Warriors 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So Thunder 2012 has to make the most sense. I'm with you. Right? Warriors made the finals 2015 through 2019. 100%. And yeah. there wasn't then, like a dark horse in the, that. Kind there, of no. Is there, no. there five? Is there yeah. a turret in the corner of the Warriors? Thunder 2012. That is correct. One to one. Brandon Walker will now be unmuted. All right, Brandon, you've served your suspension. I guess my question, would a man who spends his time during trivia reading the Bible cheat? <laughs> no, you did. We've moved on from it. Maybe next time, don't make the shenanigans about the actual answer. Twisted history of evangelists. I actually think they would cheat. They're horrible people sometimes. Every group of people has bad people. The hot Let me match Brandon and PFT, 30 cheater. seconds around the clock for you. Here we go. And the two people in this photo. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. That's a very think, old man. Is that Joe Pesci under there? No, no, it's not. I think that's um, – I. do you know who the person on the inside is? Is that is that Terry – what's your name? Terry Hatcher on the inside? Yeah, that's Terry that's Hatcher. Hatcher. It looks like too young to be Terry Hatcher. Okay, who do you think it is? Because I think I know the outside. Could be Ten Terry. Seconds. Could be Terry Hatcher. Those brown eyes are Hatcher eyes. They're Hatcher esque. Yeah. Um. Ten. I, I think the outside. I think cool. the outside's Tony Bennett. You got it. Two. Tony Bennett. Terry Hatcher. Final answer. I think it's. Ooh. Yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Mila Kunis, right? Or no? Maybe. My only guess on the outside would be Jerry Springer. Oh That's no! Only contributions. To I think it's thing. Tony Bennett. I like Tony Bennett. Can you make the face big again, or is that? I, just, I don't know. Time now. Five, four, three. What? Am I final answer person? Y yeah. Mila Kunis. Tony Bennett. Okay. Yeah. Mila Kunis. Tony Bennett. Uh, that is correct. Oh. Do you want me to oh. be the person? Can I be the person, Jeff? We didn't clarify. Yeah, we'll let sure. Jake. Yeah. Jake's got the best mic. He can be the person. Okay. Are you on delay by chance? No. Okay, you're not. Definitely not. Just making sure. Next question. 2 1 lead. Name the two <laughs> celebrities in this photo. This is a tough yeah, one. I you laugh every single time. <laughs> I mean, they're funny. I have no help here. Uh, I think I know the girl. Right. I don't know the guy. So the, the girl is, her name is Anna, right? Anna Kendrick. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the. I don't know the guy. God. Old son of a bitch. 
Is it Anna Kendrick and I, I mean it's a shot, but is that is that Mel Brooks? Oh. I mean, that's that's very obscure, right? I I mean I don't hate that Ooh, answer. Don't hate that. Yeah. All right, Anna Kendrick, Mel Brooks. Three to two or three to one oh, is God. the lead oh, after two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. Fucking into the night. Holy oh, Mila Kunis and Mel Brooks. That's that strange. That is yeah. strange. Next category is Major League Baseball. Any lifelines? No. Okay. Major League Baseball, 30 seconds on the clock for Brandon and PFT. This pitcher who played for the team in the 2000s is the San Diego Padres career leader in strikeouts. Is that Brad? Is Brad Lidge? Was he on the Padres? Oh, definitely not. It would be Trevor Hoffman if it's a closer. Oh, that's right that's closer. what I meant. It's probably Jake Peavy. Kevin Brown also played with them, but I, I would I don't see how it's not Jake Peavy if it's a career leader in strikeout. Trevor Hoffman was the he was the all time saves guy for a while, right? Yeah, but he only pitched an inning at a time, obviously. So right, right. but he uh, had what hundreds of yeah. I, he wasn't really a strikeout closer though. He was more of a anytime the two hundred. I don't. I don't see how it's not Jake Peavy. All right, let's go, Jake Peavy. Then Jake Peavy, final answer, Jeff. That is correct. Great job by Brandon working that one out. Three to two. No, 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 no. Don't do that. What? Don't compliment me after you've done what you've done. Don't even. No, oh, you're pushing it. You're pushing it, Mister. You're pushing it, Brandon. We got it right. Don't worry about it. Okay. We got the. We got your punishment right. I just don't want him to compliment me. I just, Jeff, please direct all compliments about Brandon through me. I will relay them okay. to him. Other side, three to two. This player who played for the team in the 2010s, the Texas Rangers career leader, and hits doubles and triples. Texas Rangers. Um, three to two game, high scoring. Hits, doubles, and triples. Texas. So Adrian Beltre is a big guy. I don't know how many triples he would have had. This could be a little trick question, and Vlad Guerrero maybe leaked over to 2010. I was going to say Vlad Guerrero. That's my only guess. Because being the career leader, it's got to be a very household name. Large, any insight? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm not too great at baseball. All right, because he's a skinnier guy, let's go with Vlad. Is it Soriano? It is not. I think it's Michael Young. All right. Soriano with you. Yankees, then the Nationals. He might have been with the Rangers five or six years, but I think Michael Young was there most of the time. All right, let's go, Michael Young. Final answer. Six questions, six points have been scored. Wow, three to job, three. Did, La did Vlad even play in 2010 or was I way off? He played for the Rangers like four minutes. I right. don't. Yeah, but I couldn't um, name a Rangers player except for fucking I don't know, Bob. Next Nolan. category is gonna be music. Okay. <laughs> Doubles, Steve, anything? You okay. Brandon and PFT, 20 seconds. Can we mute their song where they can't hear it? <laughs> That's making a tough question Ooh. for them. Jeff, you should do one where you have to hum it. Where you have you <laughs> hum the song. Next category. Artist 1995 song. Here's the song. That's Joan Osborne. That's Got what if got one of us? One of us. One of us. It's one of us. I'm gonna stop it because you seem. It's it's one of us by Joan Osborne. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. That's correct. Four to three. What if God was? Other one side. Here is going to be your question. You are going to have a 1998 song. Here it is. Oh. If I want to thank you by somebody. Na 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 Sing some sing sing some lyrics. Natalie Merchant, right? I want to thank you for your generosity. No, bro, bro, I'm into rock and roll. All right, I'll say Natalie Merchant. 
All right. What what large said? Final answer. Yeah. That, this is nice. this is wild. All right. We have not missed the fucking question yet. Well, we have, but someone's got it each time. Favorite artist of Mel Brooks, by the way. Oh, unbelievable. It's like Slumdog Millionaire, all connected. Next category is college basketball. Okay. This is where strategy may come into play here. Do we right. want to mute Jake? Okay. So <laughs> we talked earlier about muting large, but this would work for muting Jake. I think we mute Jake on this one. Yeah, well, let's mute Jake. So take take Large and Jake out and let Vibs be on his own. All okay. right, here's here's what I'm thinking, guys. Oh, we can double and cancel it out. Um, I think if I don't know it, I think the odds of them knowing it are slim. So I'm willing to gamble on that if you guys are in for Ooh. it. Okay. okay. I like you see it. what I'm saying like here? Brandon and PFT, you want to mute, but Jake, Vibs, and Large, you can block the mute by doubling the question. Will you block the mute? No. I can still mouth, though, correct? Okay, so this is now a mute. Jake Marsh is muted. Who else are you going to mute, Brandon and PFT? Uh, I think we mute Large, right? Yeah, let's just take Large out. Even though we're going to mute Jake and they're going to mute Large. They're not going to mute no the guy from Indiana. No, I'm the no disrespect. No disrespect. Okay, they can't answer the steal on this question, though, so they're not muted for this half of the question. College basketball, Brandon and PFT. Yeah. Name two starters from each team in the 2014 UConn-Kentucky NCAA National Championship game. I love okay. these questions. That's why I keep So doing. Kentucky would be Carl Anthony Towns, right? He was 2015. So I, I think um, Aaron Harrison and um, – UConn's going to be Shabazz Napier. We can also call Rico Bosco. He told me he'd be around. Call him. Call you, Rico Bosco. I don't, know UConn. I don't know UConn and Kentucky stuff. Harrison, I know this was before the 38-0 team. This was a national championship game in 2014. Go Huskies. Jake. Yeah, they're new. Uh, yeah. Call Rico, yeah. FaceTime. All right, he's coming nope. on FaceTime here. Obviously, Jake and Large can answer on a steal, but yeah, 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 yeah. They can't. Oh, we're not needed right now. No, but what's our question? Come on, Rico. Jake, how come? Come on, Rico. Rico, what's up? Um, the question is college basketball. We need some help. It's name two starters from each team in the 2014. UConn versus Kentucky NCAA National Championship game. Clock started now. Uh, fuck, I think 11 was uh, Lamb. Uh, Shabazz right. Napier? Shabazz Napier, is he one of them? Shabazz Napier, yeah. 100%. Okay. And Jeremy Lamb? Uh, Jeremy Lamb, right? I would say Lamb. We need two from Kentucky. Harrison? Harrison? No, ha uh, five. Get the area to hang up. Tell Two. me. Get hang up the phone now. Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Sarah, say what's up. Fuck. That was pushing it. That was pushing it. Mm -hmm. Did we get it? That was pushing it. I don't know. I'm not on the phone. Okay. I was trying to. I was trying to hang up. Now, Brandon and PFT need your answer. All right. So I think we go with Lamb, Lamb and Napier. And Napier, and then. I think he. I think he said both Harrisons. There might were there two Harrisons. Five. Yeah. The Harrison four. Five. The the Harrison the Harrison Bros. The Harrisons. No. no. Give first me a first name. And last name. I don't even want to fucking play. You're 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 savage tonight. <laughs> That's not a first name. Andrew and Aaron Harrison, uh, Shabazz Napier, and I believe it's Ryan Boatwright. That's right. Final answer. Final answer. Brandon is pushing the limit right now. How do you expect him to accept the Harrison? Brent, other side, Jake and Large, you're muted. We can mouth it. You're just muted. Just be teams that I know. We'll see. Name two starters from each team in the Kentucky Kansas 2012 national title. Okay, so 2012 would have been uh, the eyebrow. Is that right? The guy. Ooh, that's a. I don't like Anthony, that now. Anthony that Davis. Cool. No, yeah, Anthony Davis, right? Too far in his mouth. I love that. Oof. 
I want to be a dentist now. Oh, I don't like that at all. Say, uh, kid, what? Gilchrist? Kid? Mel? Michael Kid Gilchrist. Yeah. You have 15 <laughs> seconds. Give me more. Jeff? Willing? Withing? Five what? seconds for the countdown. Ain't going to get it. Say it again. Ah, fuck. Five, four, okay. three, two, one. Andrew Mark. Wiggins. Wait. Jeff Withy, Andrew Wiggins, uh, Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Kidd Gilchrist, yep. I, I thought I got to give random guesses. He I mean, you ran out of time. Oh, yeah. up. But you get the so, buzzer and then you. All right. There incorrect. Go. Andrew Wiggins was not on that team. Yeah, he was 2004. Wiggins was not on that team. Kansas was Tyshawn Taylor, Thomas Robinson, Elijah Johnson, Jeff Withy. Jeff Withy is what I was saying. Kentucky, you would have got. We got Jeff two and a half out of four. That wasn't bad. Jeff Withy wasn't the one. Yeah. Games and toys. So phone right. a friend and mute already used for Brandon and PFT. And they're losing. This game is a variant of a classic parlor game known as Fictionary or the Dictionary Game. The Dictionary Game. A variant of a classic parlor game known as Fictionary. Uh, would that be maybe Balderdash? In Balderdash, you have to come up with fake like lies about things. You have to like I feel like you come up with fake definitions in Balderdash. Yeah, I think that's a great guess. I think the dictionary a, game. What else could it be? Uh, that Balderdash makes a lot of sense. From what I know of Balderdash, I haven't played it like once. I think that's yeah. a good guess. All right. Uh, let's go with Balderdash. Balderdash, final answer, Jeff. Good guess. That's correct. Five to five. All right. High scoring affair. Other side, games and toys. This game is a creative thinking category based party game played in sets of three rounds with a. Ah. I, icosahedron die? Icosahedron die. There it is. Yeah. Icosahedron die. Creative thinking category based party game played in sets of three rounds with icosahedron die. Icosahedron. Categories? I don't know it. Is it categories? Uh, that's as good of a. Well, let's think it through. So creative thinking, category-based game. So yeah. Creatively, categories. They have like three. Do they? I think so. Five. If I remember it correctly. Four. A weird All die. Right. Three yeah, categories. they have a weird die. Final to, answer. Three's final. Answer. That is correct. Oh, Five man. to six. <laughs> you all playing some. Hey, you should have fucking muted me on that. Six to five. Time to make the donut. Time to make a donut. And it's shaking, baby. We got to do a whole bunch. U.S. geography. Ooh, okay. Is the category tonight? Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. U.S. geography. It's gonna be a city of letter. Six to five. Okay. This won't those. swing the match all that much, one way or the other, but still pivotal two points. Brandon and PFT, you'll go first, like a penalty shootout. Here we yep. go. This is your question. In the top 25 U.S. states with the most water area by square mile. Okay. All right. Okay. Not an easy question. All right. So, Brandon, do, do you want to go first? Because I've got – Yeah. Areas. You go. Go, go. go. Just say one. Michigan. What? Can we go yeah. Minnesota because of the lakes, or is that stupid? What'd you say? Minnesota because of the lakes. Five. Or is that Utah because of the Great Salt Lake? Jake. I'd say one. Minnesota before that. Minnesota. Minnesota. Jake, gotta be quicker on the draw there. So uh, we'll see next time. Maybe, maybe Wisconsin? Maybe Wisconsin, but Utah was pretty good. Uh, Actually, they got a lot of desert. They got a lot of desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Let's go with Wisconsin. Because they do have a lot of lakes, even if they don't count too many of the Great Lakes. Wisconsin. Missouri. Oh, sure. Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. 
Texas, Texas or California, based on how big they are? They're very dry states, though. Florida, I would stick Florida's with Florida's wet. Florida's wet. I would I would stick with states like the Great Lake states, Brandon. So let's go oh. with New York and the Finger Lakes. Got some work to do, other side. Can, um, we, can we can we say Hawaii or no? We can. Do we think that's correct? <laughs> you can say any state. <laughs> What about, what about your Florida? Your Florida. Yeah, I'd say Florida. 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 Final answer. What about Alaska? It's um, huge. Ah, uh, fuck. Missouri? Yeah, but oh, it's not our not, turn. It's not our turn. What about we're, Alaska? We're not, we're not talking ice, Brent. So maybe oh, Gulf of no, Mexico. I was, I was, I was, yeah. Louisiana. Louisiana. Don't make that face, Brent. I'm just I'm me, okay? I got you. You guys need this to stay alive. Uh, I feel like California is so big; it's gotta ha- it's gotta be in the top half. I, I, I feel like it's always in drought. Yeah, I would I would say something. I'd say like Rhode Island. Rhode yeah. Island. Uh, okay. Incorrect. That is the two points for Brandon and PFT. So you got to think big bodies of water, Brandon, because the the states do own parts of like lakes and they own parts of like the Gulf of Mexico. We got yeah, it. Right? The rest it's of them. I know. But you you were looking Texas. at me like I was an idiot. Yeah, Alaska was number one. Okay, great job. Alaska. I should have said Alaska. Sorry. I got you. I, got, I, got, I, got I was thinking I got Missouri, the right. Miss, Mississippi, and the Ozarks. Fuck me. Seven to six. Brandon and PFT, you have one on lifeline left. Other side, you have all your lifelines left. College football is the next category. You want to move, you Brandon? Yeah. Yeah. You want to block and double. I dare you to mute him. We're one and zero on mutes today. Muted. Yeah, we're medium. Okay, Brandon, you're muted for this question. You don't want to double, right? Not really. Brandon. Not really. Okay. Brandon's muted. PFT, here's your question. Brandon can mouth the answer. Mm-hmm. Please back name these. Ma- name this major college football team based on these defensive players: Mike Doss, Donnie Nicky, Matt Wilhelm, and C. Grant. Huh? huh? Ohio uh, State. Yeah, that's what I've got State. it. I was going to say Ohio State. Mike Doss was a safety, right? Final yeah, answer. I, Ohio State. Final Mike Doss. The Mike Doss still works. You come on, there's a shitload of names works. One doesn't work. Next one. Eight yeah. to six. Name this major college football team based on these defensive players. Cedric Griffin, Aaron Ross, Roderick White, and Brian Robinson. I don't know. So Cedric Griffin – Played for Chicago, right? I don't know. Roderick White. Also have your phone. Uh, no, you you do have your you have all your lifelines. No, you don't have your mute anymore. Do you want to call someone or you want to call Brandon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's muted. <laughs> I I think Cedric Griffin might be Alabama, but I'm, that's a guess. That seems so mainstream, but so is Ohio State. Yeah. <laughs> was it two national championship thing? All right, you're gonna have to make a decision very soon. I, I we can go Alabama. I, I have All no right. clue. Alabama. All right, let's go. It's uh no, it's Texas, right? Yeah, it's the University of Texas. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That is University of Texas. They had like nine people named Griffin on that team. It's a national – both teams are national championship teams. Nine to six, getting away from you guys, but you do have your double. Next category, television. You're going to see a picture from a show. It's going to show you the set, but I've blacked out the people. So you won't see the people. You'll see the set. Tell me what TV show this is from. Brandon and PFT, anyone want to double? Yeah. Large, you're pretty good at TV. Do you want to double? Um, What else is coming up, do you know? No idea. <laughs> you don't. Probably like history or geography or movies. Yeah, we, I don't know. No double. No double. No double. No double. Brandon and PFT, here you go. What show is this? So now, it's a, yeah, it does look like ISIS a bit. Um, is that Third that, Rock from the Sun? Third Rock from the Sun. It's Third Rock from the Sun. Yes. I think that's Third Rock. Final answer? Yeah. Third Rock. Right. Third Rock. I recognize that window. Okay. All right, you're right. I recognize that window. It's third rock from the sun. Ten to six. You're putting on quite the fucking performance tonight. Other side, you really need this one. You got to keep pace. 
What TV show is this? That might be uh oh, wait, shit. is that is that the Will Smith meme? Is that no. Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Yeah. Isn't I, it isn't it empty? I don't, I don't know. I mean, that looks a little bit like the nanny. That'd be way too far back, right? I, mean, <laughs> I don't think that's the different strokes have a fucking staircase. <laughs> that's way back. What? I'll fix the TV in a minute. Need an answer in. Brandon, get a working TV. Yes. What do you think, Arj? I'd say either the nanny or different strokes. What do you think? What are you more confident in? Two uh, seconds. The nanny. Nanny. Brandon knew it. You needed it. You got it. 10 to 7. That's the nanny. 10 to 7. That would have been a huge steal. You guys are down three. You both have your doubles, right? You both have your doubles. Yes, category. Only and four we have left. Our, is we have our phone. The National Football League. And a mute. Okay. No, we muted. You don't have your mute. Nobody has their mute. We have, have, have that two. No, no, no. no. You have, you have, no, you have one mute. You have one mute. <laughs> Here we go. The NFL. Brandon, do you want a double? No. No. Okay. Here it is. This AFC team has the most AFC championship game wins, two without ever hosting one at home. Okay. Um The Colts. No, they have more than that, right? So maybe. Texans. Texans. Uh, um, Broncos. Broncos hosted one. Uh, How many Super Bowls Titans been to? Ravens. It's Ravens. Tell me it's not Ravens. Need an answer in. They've been to two Super Bowls. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think you're right. Ravens. Final, Final answer? Line. Yep. That is correct. 11 to 7. Holy shit. Wow. They're on fire tonight. Other side, you really need – you can miss, but it's not a good idea. This NFC team has the most NFC championship game appearances, five, without ever losing a game. I mean, I have no is idea. It? There's 16 options. Giants, Cowboys, I'm, Eagles. I'd say the Giants. I was the my Giants were my first guess. My guess is the Giants. Because they, they had a bunch of Super Bowl. They had two Super Bowls recently in this decade, and then a bunch old yeah. schools like Lawrence Taylor, right? Yeah, yeah. Did the Packers? I uh, like the, I'd, I'd say so Giants. Long. I'd say New York Giants. Yeah, Giants. What do you think, Large? I have no idea. Okay, right. five. Giants, 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 Giants. 11 to 8. Remains a three-point game. Three categories to go. Movies is the next category. Do we want to double or keep waiting? Hopefully we have a more better category. I mean, you're eventually going to be for the double. Yeah, I say we wait. I say we wait. Okay. Wow. Okay. Movies. Here we go. Brandon Hold and PFT, 11 to 8. 2004 movie, oceanographer swears vengeance upon shark that killed crew member running into figures of his past along the way. 2004. Is that um, the life? Aquatic? The life Aquatic? Yeah. See, do so? Is that the plot of that? I don't, I never saw it. Then there's also Deep Blue with LL Cool J. I think that was a little bit before 2004. Okay. Uh, I saw the life Aquatic. I was very high. So if he ran into Figures from his past, I probably didn't realize that. All they right, were Deep Blue Sea, what it could have been. Uh, I, I don't think they saw members of his past. I think Steve Zissou would have been like, he would have seen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go. I remember he went up in like the the crow's nest. The Life Aquatic. With Steve. Yeah. The Life Aquatic, final answer. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving you the answer. That is that's correct. What I said. Yeah. That's what I said. Pronunciation. Not, Jeopardy not rules in play there. Pronunciation. I mean, I correct. said. How do you say it, Jeff? So, you both said it differently. I'm taking it. It's okay. I'm taking it. No. Not the Jeopardy rule. Pronunciation. That's not fine, how, how do you say I it? Would say, I, I say Steve Zissou, but. Okay. Oh. The one, the way Brandon pronounced it is probably the right way. It's okay. We're taking that. I have no objections to that. Jeopardy rule. Pronunciation. Other side, 12 to 8. Here's your question. 2006 movie, Struggling Single Father with Nowhere to Go Endures Hardships as he lands internship on Road for a Better Life. Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah, Will Smith. Yeah. Happiness with a Y. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Final answer. Wait, I, I honest to God did not hear any answer. Oh, pursuit, pursuit of happiness. happiness. Yeah. Okay. Final answer. That is correct. <laughs> Twelve to nine. The pursuit of, with the Y. Category eleven. If you guys don't double here, you got to double the next round. And large vibs, Jake, you have to either phone a friend here or phone a friend next round. So you really got to make a call. Down 12 to 9. You don't need every point. There's still five points remaining, but this is pivotal. Next category is snacks and candy. Oh, fuck. Do we want to double or wait? Large, you're better at food than snacks and candy, right? Yeah. yeah. Jeff always gives like some hot chip. You have to, I think we put it, put it in our pocket and go next round. Then. I just, All right. Bibbs, what do you think, Large? Do we double wait. or or we can phone a friend too? If we don't double here, we're phone a friending. Um, yeah, okay. I say we wait though for the double. I mean, if we get this on single, we can almost put this out of reach anyway. We don't have to double. almost, almost. We got to. You say we should double and possibly yeah. phone a friend. We can all, We can't do both. If we don't double here, we can. We have to use our phone a friend here. Uh, yeah, I don't think we double here. Maybe we phone a friend if we have to. Okay. Okay. I say we just wait to double on the next one. Okay. So you're going to you Jeff, use your phone friend here. The 12th category will be doubled for both teams. Brandon and PFT. You're going to get the brand. You're not going to get the name of the candy bar, though. You'll get the brand, not the name of the specific bar. Oh. What is the name of this bar from Reese's? That's Fast Break, I believe. Wait, no. No, I don't think that it is. I don't know. It's not, I don't think it is fast break. I'm Reese's never seen that. Reese's chunks. Reese's chunks. Could be. It's all you. It's got, it's got peanuts on it. Yeah. Reese's crunch. Not crunch. That would be that other one. Nestle has a crunch. Yeah, it could call. Uh, Reese's chunks, Jeff. Final answer. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys? Large. I think it's a fast break, but I could be wrong. All right. I have no insight. Vibs, unless you've I don't anything. know. I think that's its own candy bar, but I think it's fa fast break. Let's okay. Go to fast break. It's not a fast break. That, that is a nutrageous. Nutrageous <laughs> bar. I thought that was its own thing, too. I didn't this know that. Is Brandon, the other side. You're down 12 to 9. If you miss this and they get it, game over. If you get it, you can win the next round. If you miss this and they don't get it, you have to get the final three points. You also have your lifeline. Only person you can't call, you can't call Nick, you can't call KB. Here we go. Name this candy bar from Hershey's. Do you guys have anyone uh, that we can call? What would you no. If you miss them, Brandon, if you get it, they win. I have an idea what it is. Should I say it out loud or – we, you can say it, then if you guys have someone we can call to confirm, because we have to burn the phone. I mean, I'm here. trying to tell you I know it, Large. You can say whatever you want. I need to confirm that it's a score bar with a K. Okay. Do you guys have someone that might know it to confirm? Because we might as well not waste our phone, a friend. I'll okay. go. You want me to? Who, who do we call? It's not a score. I don't know. That's what I, I just don't know who to call. I don't, I don't have no idea. Yeah, I don't know who to call either. <laughs> Got to decide in. Make them say score. Five. Score, final answer. Score, final answer. That right. is correct. 12 to 10. Oh, we are we're, almost out of room. we're like Andy, we're like Andy <laughs> Reid. We're taking the timeouts. They carry over, right? You cannot use your, your phone. Kidding, again, I'm, your kidding, phone I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> double this is double. two points for each team. What's the category, Jeff? The team skipped over doubling multiple times. The category is world history. Oh, God. Brandon, oh, if, God. You, if you get this right, oh, you get ours, it doesn't matter. We get ours, it doesn't matter. They you get do it right so the game. If you miss it, they get it. Then it's for the game. This is crazy. They do a show about world history, bro. Yeah, but we got you. We're good. Brandon and PFT for the win. We have the ball, not them. That's like saying – Who was the prime minister who led Great Britain to World War One? Mm. Oh, dear. So, score. Neville Chamberlain was after the fact. Um, well, you're not going to see me answer it. I don't know it. Not. Let's see. Fuck, Large knows this. Fibs knows this. 
Yeah, we're fucked. Uh, 15 seconds. We are fucked. F U C T. I, I should know. I should know. Yeah. One out of two to force OT, two out of two to win. Do I have that right, Jeff? You're not broadcasting this, Je Jake. I got it. It's you Wednesday. can answer in five, four, three, two. Neville Chamberlain. Let's just say Neville Chamberlain was there for 40 years. I don't know. So it's like two free throws. Need one to force OT, hit Shut both, up, game over. All right. You guys, you guys know it? Large, do you know it? I, I think it's Winston Churchill, but <laughs> who is it? You're, you're joking, right? Who is it? I don't know. I was gonna say uh, Neville Chamberlain. They just guessed yeah. Neville Chamberlain. I know. I don't, and that's not who it is. All right, Winston Churchill's our only guy. No, no, we that's ran out of time. We ran out of time. You're out of time. You're out of time. time. That's all right. Hey, David miss the Boyd first free throw. throw. Keep, keep your, keep David your head. In. Yeah. <laughs> Make Jake stop doing that. Keep your head in, I, intact. I, Just make the second. We're Jake, going to OT. Are you going to have to pull your mouth out again? Yeah, if it was World War II, he, yeah. Well, yeah, Sorry. I knew World War II. World War One was – that's a different ballpark. Uh, yeah. got to hit one of them. All right. Uh, we have a P break. We had a T, a T and a P break. This is to tie to send it to overtime. 12 to 12. That's a fucking high-scoring match. The last match was insane. This one is just as crazy. <sighs> There, I mean, there's all you can only score upwards with 28 points in a match. Here we go. For the tie, if you miss it, game over, no matter what. 30 seconds on the clock starting now to send it to overtime. What monarch of Russia abdicated his title in 1917? Large knows this. I, I like so maybe it's Nicholas, um, because then he was shot in a basement. With his kids, but his daughters were wearing the crown jewels sewn into their corsets. So then they had to be stabbed with bayonets. So I think it was Tsar Nicholas the second final. And by the way, the official vodka of Russia back then was Smirnoff with a V. And then it got fell out of favor, and then it got bought in the United States for fourteen thousand dollars. I'm going to say Tsar Nicholas the second. I'm not too sure about it, but that's my final answer. Unless somebody else has a different one. <laughs> let's let's try to send this thing to OT. Got to hit our second free throw. Yep. Final answer, Zar Nicholas II. That's going to overtime. That is correct. 12 to 12. No. <laughs> I saw, like I said, one of two, move on. Fresh five minutes now. That guy? All right. Overtime. We go. All right. Overtime we go. For the second consecutive time, I did not anticipate that we would have – Overtime in back-to-back -back matches, that rarely happens, but here it is, a big three-point comeback by Vibs, Jake, and Large. The question is very similar to the one we had the other night. Most populous cities. Brandon and PFT, you'll go first. This is exactly like the bonus round. Here it is. What, this is the top what? Do we know? Are you allowed to say? He's about, He's about to give the question. He's about to give the question. Oh. Name the top 24 – most populous cities in the country that start with the letter C. Uh, Columbus, yeah. Ohio. Yep. Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. Cleveland, Ohio. That, that your answer, PFT? Yeah, Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. I, I just I make just make sure we're in order for yeah. I have one. That I know is right, so just so we don't give a okay. Well, Char Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte, North Carolina. Cincinnati, oh. Ohio. Okay, I got another one. Cincinnati. Oh. I was thinking Cincinnati. Five. Oh fuck. Four. You better get one to Jake soon. Three. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Oh. <laughs> That was a pure right. guess. Wow. Right. Holy crap. Do you have one? I was going to say. Charleston, South Carolina. Damn. Yeah. Keep thinking, guys. That's what I was going to say. Uh, five. Four. Charlottesville, Virginia. Do you guys? That's right. No. Charlottesville, Virginia. Small. Small. A little bit of, okay, what about what about what about Columbia, South Carolina, or Corpus Christi, Texas? 
five, four. Either one. Either one. Columbia, South Carolina. That is the victory. They have won. They almost blew it, but in the reverse of the last match, they staved off the comeback, and they win 13-12. to 12. Cape Coral, Carrollton, Cary, North Carolina, Cedar Rapids, Chandler, Arizona, Chattanooga, Chesapeake, Chula Vista, California, Clarksville, College Station, Texas, Columbia, Missouri, uh, Columbus, Georgia, Concord, California, Corona, California, Homa Waterburger, Corpus Christi, Texas, Coral Springs, uh, Vince Young again. Uh, Vince and Young that too. is the <laughs> – <it's always, laughs> it always appears. Uh, a fucking slugfest start to finish. Wow. Brandon staved off his one game uh, – not a suspension, but – Penalty? Censure. Captain Cons, as I said, we will be discussing either between a 6 to 12 question penalty, uh, Jake, Vibs, and Large, valiant effort. When you lose 13 to 12, there's not much you can say. No, I'm just glad Brandon followed the rules. They beat us fair and square. Yeah. He always does. He just took a joke a little too far last time. Fair enough. And he paid for it, and they won. 13 to 12. (laughs) Let. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you to CBTMD. Uh, the last two matches, we've had a crazy comeback, and then the team that blew the lead ended up winning. How about that? Uh, we have it's the worst Smitty. Thing that happened to me, and I had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and Large feels better. I feel great. We like hearing that. We're very happy to hear that. This team is still a stud team. 12 points and losing. That's hard Thank to do. You. Actually, you lost the last two, and you scored over 10 points each time. I think it's the first yeah. time that's happened. So you guys so, will be back. We got bad defense. We're, we're working through that right now. ZD will take on their opponents, Smitty Balls and Tommy Smokes, later on in the week. Uh, also going to give a little hint. we got an all-NFL, big-time all-NFL battle Super Bowl week. Big time. Maybe it might be trying to get maybe a special guest. We'll see. I just want to tease it. Won't say any details. That's it. Thank you to CBDMD for sponsoring the uh, code at the bottom of the screen, 25% off all orders. Thanks, everyone, for joining and playing, as always, and most of all, for you for watching. Thank you. Nailed that. I didn't do it, though. Talk to you next time.